Game one of the 1965 World Series, the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Minnesota Twins, fell on Yom Kippur, the holiest day of the Jewish year. Koufax had been scheduled to pitch the opening game. This is now the World Series. There's a lot at stake. There were several days, and I was around then, covering the World Series, covering the Dodgers. Would he pitch? Wouldn't he pitch? Would he pitch? Wouldn't he pitch? This was tremendous drama. I had taken Yom Kippur off for 10 years and Rosh Hashanah for 10 years before that. It's just something I'd always done as uh, respect, but I could always do something about it. There was always a game the day before, so I'd move up and pitch on two days rest so I wouldn't miss a start at the end of the season. But this day, there was no game the day before. And he says, I'm going to, to choose to honor my religion. I'm going to choose not to play baseball on the most important day in my people's religious calendar. Amazing, enormous, makes a huge difference. Even though Jewish people were assimilated at this point, probably pretty comfortable in the United States, I think it gave us a new burst of energy. I think it was part of that period of time when people started paying more attention to what it meant to be Jewish. I think Sandy Koufax was a big part of that. All of a sudden, in a very short time, Sandy Koufax has transformed to a national figure. And of course, anybody of my age group, if you ask them what was the seminal event, and they're honest, they'll tell you, Sandy Koufax not playing in the World Series on Yom Kippur. Thank you.